behind the gloves now with Mark Chamberlain. Mark, how are you feeling after that win? Look at your new friend on your shoulder. <laughs> Over the moon, I couldn't be happier. Best fight, I think, so far of the night. How did it feel being in there? He was quite resilient, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a tough, tough man. Um, it felt great being in there under the lights again. Obviously, I was last out in March. Um, obviously, I'm happy with Frank and that for keeping me busy and giving me this opportunity and believing in me to fight for this title. It proves what level I'm at and what level I should be at, so I'm ready to keep going now. Did you think it was going to last that long? Because what I was watching, second round, I thought he looked quite gassed. I could be wrong. You're the one in there. Did you expect it to go that long? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I thought it should have been stopped in seven or eight. Mm -hmm. um, but he was a tough man. Obviously, I caught him on the chin in the first. His legs went. Yep. But I didn't want to get too excited because I had nine rounds to go. So the main thing is I got the ten rounds in. I proved I can do the ten rounds. I learned an awful lot in that fight. So I'm going to go back home, watch it over and over again and see what we need to work on and improve on it in the gym. How much control does it take to not go hell for leather when you have seen someone be knocked down once? To kind of restrain yourself and think, OK, I've got loads of rounds left in, let's keep something in the tank. Yeah, obviously you get excited and you think, I've hurt him, I want to finish him now. But mm. if you don't, you've still got to go the distance and then it, tables could turn and he could be doing that to you. So you have got to be careful you don't blow yourself out. So, yeah. You spoke about experience. There was a fight previously that you were lined up to have a title fight. It fell through, didn't it? Do you feel like it's actually better for you that you've had this opportunity now rather than previously? Yeah, it wasn't meant to be at that time, was it? And it is tonight because it's on my shoulder, so, yeah. And what's next for you, Mark Chamberlain? In a minute, a little bit of food. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of boxing-wise, week out the gym, get back in the gym, tick over, and look to get out again before Christmas, definitely. And what's your predictions for the big fight tonight, Joyce versus Hammer? Who do you think is going to take that? Joyce has got to get him out of there, any he, surely? That's my predictions, anyway. And if he doesn't, will that stunt him from being able to fight the big leagues like AJ, like Usyk, like Tyson Fury? I'd say so. He's, uh, I think he's had 13 or 14 fights, hasn't he? So he's in there with a mix of the big names, but he needs to get through tonight, and uh, I'm sure he will. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. Have fun with your, with your food and celebrating, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Hey, Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button below so that you can receive an alert every time we upload a new video.